Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the channel, welcome to week 33 of 2021's GT Sport Daily Race C Strategy Guide where we are visiting a brand new combination as we take Group 2 Machinery around Sardinia Road Course B. So as I said, brand new combination for Daily Race C, 14 laps to get round tyre aware is it times 6 fuel is it times 2. Racing soft and racing medium tyres are both available, so we're back to strategy after a couple of weeks off, which is very, very nice to see. And your BOP, Damage, Rolling Start and Slipstream are all as you would expect. Now before we move on to the strategy element of the video, just want to give you a little bit of a warning about these curves, which have caught me out numerous times in the making of this video. They're scattered throughout this course, they're very narrow, they're both on the apex and on the exit of the track, so these cars are just not very happy on them at all. I've been caught out numerous times as I shall ably demonstrate here in the video. So very very innocent looking accident just caught the wheel, the right hand side wheel on the kerb and round she went. This time it's on the, the apex. Just catch the inside of the kerb and before we know it we are spun round and we are facing backwards. And uh, I've been sort of racing, racing sims for a wee while and I have learnt that facing backwards is definitely not the quickest way to win the race. So a couple of little tips there, all for free, the sort of tips you only ever get on a Wombo Leader Guide. Particularly that second one, I don't think anyone's ever given that extremely valuable tip of not ending up facing backwards, so you heard it here first folks. Anyway, let's move on to the all important strategy element of the video, and we're going to start off with the soft medium strategy. So essentially here, what we're looking to do is how long are these soft tyres going to last before our medium tyres will be quicker in terms of fresh medium tyres being quicker than warrant softs. Now before I give you my thoughts on what lap I think will be best change from soft to mediums, let's just cover off our car choice here. We're in the Lexus RCF 2016, no particular reason for that. I tend to find all the modern uh, Group 2 cars to be very very similar in performance, maybe a couple of attempts between them. So in terms of what car I use to do these strategies, it doesn't really matter. Obviously we know the NSX is a little bit more skitterish on its rear tyre wear. And with the tyre wear being fairly high, you're probably going to run into a few troubles and maybe have to do a slightly shorter stint in that car. But for this uh, guide we are in the Lexus, I suspect most people will be in the GTR come race day tomorrow. But let's uh, move on to the next segment of the video and get my thoughts and opinions on these soft tyres. So we've jumped forward here to lap number 7. And as we come up to the second checkpoint here, you're going to see we are only three tenths down on our best lap. Now, I think it's fair to say, given we've just done our fastest lap on lap six, we've maybe not quite pushed the tyres as hard as we could over the opening two or three laps. Doing very, very consistent lap times. But we're going to come round the last corner here, over the start-finish line, and complete another lap. But this kind of took me a little bit aback. It seems that a lot of lap time can be lost once the tyres get worn in that final sector. So actually coming across the line there, losing three temps in the final sector alone. So in order to kind of test that theory out, we actually then completed another lap on the worn soft tyres, which again looked pretty good up until the second checkpoint before falling off on the last lap, so or the last sector. So you can see that was a 113.5, so it was definitely time to go into the pits and go get those medium tyres on. Now just before we got to the pits we had a very strange accident as we came up the uphill left hander. It's a sort of a weird one, it seems you're unsighted on the left hand side of the car in cockpit view and it's almost like you forget to turn. I did find that corner quite tricky throughout doing the test run so definitely something to bear in mind for myself. But into the pits we're going to come now, get those medium tyres on, we're probably at least one lap too late, possibly two. But as the pit crew prepare for the car to come in, you can see it's not the biggest sort of weight between the car entering the pits and getting to the box. New set of fresh medium tyres on, out the pit lane we come. When it's all said and done, we lose around about 17.6 seconds. Now, do be very careful as you come out the pits here. Make sure you're checking behind you and you're not kind of blocking a car who is coming down the start finish straight. There is a big disparity in speed between the cars. Uh, in there from full speed and from exiting the pits. Uh, expect to see some shenanigans there over the course of the week. How these medium tyres holding up though, very nicely is the answer. As you can see, high 12s, low 13s, a lot quicker than what we were doing on our worn soft tyres on lap 7 and 8. So we definitely left it at least one lap too late, possibly two, but it looks to me like the pit window from starting on the soft tyres to moving on to the medium tyres is around about lap 7 
and possibly at lap 8 if you're very good on time. But I think if you leave it to lap 9, you're going too far. Maybe for some of our pad users, it might even be even earlier than lap 7, maybe something like lap 6. But lap 7 looks around about the optimal point to me for most people to change from soft tyres on to the mediums. Okay then, let's move on to what tends to be the more popular strategy more often than not now, just because it's better to start on the medium tyres and then finish on the soft tyres because at the beginning of the race you simply cannot use the potential of your soft tyres if you are mired in traffic or starting towards the rear. So lap number 5 here as we uh, approach the end of the lap we are going to pit from our medium tyres onto those soft tyres. So we're doing what their best lap of 113.0, actually a very good lap to start off on the medium tyres but the other two laps was a 13.4 and a 13.3. So we're going to try and do 9 laps on these soft tyres. Now if we have chosen this right then we should be able to stay below the 1 minute 13s for the entire stint. That would indicate that we have picked the absolute optimal time to come into the pits. And so have we managed to achieve that on our soft tyres? And the answer is up until lap 13 we have. Uh, first lap on our soft tyres was very very tardy indeed, I'm not entirely sure what I did there, a 112.9 is definitely not what we're looking for or on our fresh soft tyres, but we kind of bring it back with laps 8, 9 and 10 being kind of 1 minute 12.3, which is more kind of what we're, we're sort of looking to be doing, our optimal actually a 111.9. So definitely plenty of speed in those soft tyres and they are lasting as we get to lap 13. You can see we're still in the 1 minute 12, 1 minute 12.7. Up to the last couple of corners now, a very very technical last sector of the track. We'll take a look at that in the lap guide. And into very 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 tricky last corner, very difficult to get right. We actually smack that curve that I've been telling you to avoid. It doesn't seem to be quite so bad on that last corner you can use it a little bit. Do we come across the line for a 1 minute 12? We do, a 1 minute 12.9. So, start on the mediums. For somebody like myself who's pretty good on tyre wear, lap 5 looks pretty handy doing 9 laps on the soft tyres. Maybe a little bit uh, later for the pad users or if you're just generally bad on tyre wear or possibly even using the Honda NSX. Maybe it may lap 6, possibly lap 7. Just depending on how comfortable you are driving on worn tyres. Okay then, we've come to that part of the video where we've got the race footage played in the background and this is where we kind of reiterate everything we've kind of discovered so far in the video. So in terms of strategy, it's going to be a one stop. Both tyres are going to be mandatory. There's basically leaves you with two options. There's no two stop option available just because of the length of the pit loss at 17.6 seconds. Now, if you're starting on the soft tyres, which is generally the best thing to do if you're maybe starting in the top three or four positions, you get ahead of the fighting pack, open up a space, make your pit stop at the optimal time and just run home on the medium tyres for a nice finish. If you're doing that strategy, my findings suggest that lap seven or 8th is probably the optimal point where your worn softs will not be as quick as a fresh set of mediums. Probably it's lap 7 for your pad users, lap 8 maybe for the wheel users or people who are just good on tyre wear. In terms of the alternate strategy, starting on the medium tyres and finishing on the softs, lap 5 looks to me around about the optimal point for somebody like myself who's good on tyre wear. Possibly lap 6 for the padges, or maybe even lap 7 if you're just really bad on tyre wear. There will be the big possibility of doing a big undercut as well. Similar to what we pulled off in the strategy video we put out a couple of weeks ago where we stopped on lap 1 in the Jaguar at Bathurst and did the rest of the race on the soft tyres. I could see you kind of pulling off a very similar strategy if circumstances arise in this race, maybe pitting as early as lap 2 or 3. But that will be for those very, very frugal drivers on the tyres probably need to have a bit of an inherent speed advantage over the drivers you're trying to beat as well who are going to try and pull that strategy off. But it is a possibility, it's always out there. As I tried to sort of reiterate in the, the strategy video, you've always got to be looking at what's going on around you eh, as you make your decisions on a strategy, not always just looking to follow the optimal strategy as the circumstances just don't mean that's going to be the fastest way for you to complete the race. 
Okay then, strategy done and dusted, let's go lap guiding in our Lexus around the track of Sardinia Road Track B. Down into turn number one, the 100 meter board is your friend, watch the kerb on the apex and also on the exit is those jaggy kerbs that can throw the car off. Into turn number three here, full throttle on the soft tyres but as the tyres start to wear just be careful. Uh, the car can understeer wide. The ambulance on the right hand side is your breaking point into this left hander here and into probably the most tricky corner and the corner where you will see the most accidents throughout the course of the week. The car will naturally understeer wide there. You'll see lots of people hitting the gravel and spinning off down the hill and having a fairly big accident, try not to get caught up on that. The start of the blue kerb on the left hand side is your braking reference into the sort of uphill right hander. Very very tricky corner, easy to understeer wide there, try to catch the camera on the inside. And we come into this very technical last sector. This corner here is just a slight little lift off the throttle, that kerb on the inside can unbalance the car as well. And the grey advertising boards on the outside of the track are your reference for the last turn. A dab of the brakes, throw the car in, hope it sticks, don't run wide, don't pick up a half second penalty and you should be golden there. But the last corner is very, very tricky. Uh, you never, ever seem to feel like you're quite getting it right. But a nice racing prospect here, nice to be back to strategy as well with the sort of multiple tyres. Get the pit crew back in action after a couple of weeks sitting on their lazy backsides. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, if you've made it to this point of the video, I really do appreciate it if you make it to the end of the videos, it really does help the algorithm. We shall be uh, doing this one quite a lot, we had an annual leave as of when this race starts, so expect to see plenty of wombles on the track. But yeah, again, thank you very much for watching, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I shall see you on the next one. Goodbye now.